Hello everyone, and welcome to another video. Alright, so today I'm going to be going over my favorite productivity app, and it is called Notion. You guys probably have heard of it, I've talked about it on this channel before, but I'm going to be essentially going over my whole entire setup. I did make a video about this in June. If you guys want to check that, I'll leave a link in the description down below for that as well. I have a more detailed process now, and I have more things to add on here. Let me just put this out there first, that Notion can be used for anything, not just for like schoolwork, not just for videos. It can be used to write in like um, a virtual journal in a way you can take pictures and then upload it there. It's all synced and you can use it through your computer or you can use it through your phone, your tablet, whatever you like. And I constantly come back to it instead of going to just different systems. It's this all-in-one workspace that is really integrated with so many different features and so many different apps as well. But without further ado, let's hop into the computer. Okay, so we are currently in the system right now and here's what my dashboard looks like. This is exactly where I go to see a lot of my tasks and what I need to get done exactly. So right here, um, I just have some quotes here, you know, um, here's a quote from Kobe Bryant and then another quote quote you know like to have here because just rise and grind that's something I like to say next up here is today and that's essentially my um, virtual to-do list where I put down some things that I want to do oh I completed this already so I would check it off to create a to-do list what you can do is on a blank page click slash and it opens up a bunch of commands here and you can click whatever you like so I'll click to do list and it makes a to-do box here you can just type whatever you want and then what I do is if I'm done with the task here for example this one I would drag it by clicking these um, this little icon on the side and then dragging it into an archive basically what notion is it's a combination of different pages that you can make you can make pages and sub pages you would um, hit the slash key and then also um, click whatever you like so we can click page there's headings to-do list toggle list quotes dividers so many things here that I use as a combination as you can see in my archive if we click into it, it's a sub page here and here's just some other tasks that I've completed already next up here is remind me so that's where I remind myself to do certain tasks that I need to do for example here I need to study for the SATs I remind myself at 2 p.m. to do that you simply do the at symbol on your keyboard you can put like today 9 p.m. and then you click on that again it brings up this pop-up window and you can click remind to whatever you like but basically that's really easy to just set reminders right there and it's all in one system here on this dashboard next up is stop procrastinating so these are the tasks that I don't want to necessarily get done today but maybe in the near future or maybe like later down the road you can also link things which is really really nice as well by just doing slash and then link and you can link whatever page you want you can search through your whole database and then down here is just all the pages that I have so I can like get easy access to it so quick access you know helpful links finance um, gains journal my um, content creation here my school stuff and then other also in addition I forgot to say but notion also does allow you to make really cool icons we have something right here this dashboard um, we have this joystick and once we you can choose whatever emoji you want just searching it so if I wanted something else maybe like a controller so I have a controller right here. You can just click on that and it changes the icon. You can also add a cover over here. So by clicking over here, changing cover, um, Unsplash also does have really cool um, images here. You can just click whatever you like or you can link it from the web. So next up, let's go on the sidebar here. This is really cool where I can see at a glance like all of the things that I currently want out right now so let's start over here at school so right here this is my school assignments I can just see all of my reminders all of my homework that I need to get done when I need to do it but let's actually start up here first as you can see the icon and the cover as well but right here this is one backlink that means it is linked to the dashboard as you saw it it was already linked next up is this is what is called a slash call out and that is what it is so basically something that I need to do get done that is really important to me that I want to stand out so attendance I need to sign into attendance at 7 30 every single day but obviously not today I forgot to set it to Monday so we're gonna do that right now next up here is homework so this is all my homework assignments for health and PE algebra 2 you know just all of my subjects here um, to annotate chapter 21 of to kill a mockingbird so I outlined it right here and I can see what class it is in so what you can just do is add the property what I did for that scenario was make it a select so you could select what subject it is then you can just simply over here add whatever you want so if you have like art class or something you can click that and that's tagged as art class um, what date needs to be due and what I like to do actually here in date format and time zone is I can check 
here what I want it to be I choose relative because that way I can easily see instead of seeing like the date if it's like December 15th or something then I can easily see oh this is coming up next week oh this is coming up tomorrow maybe it's coming in two days something like that so this is something I can see at a glance exactly when it is and if it's an assessment or not maybe it's quiz test or common assessment I can select one of those link if I need to link an assignment to a Google Doc if I click done actually that goes into another archive page I'll show you that in a minute now extra notes I would click that if I have extra notes over here so what's cool about this is when you have something called a kanban board what i use right here each of these little cards are an individual page and what you can do is click on uh, down here and write whatever notes you want so for example i'll write like gem and scout are that's an example of something that in to kill a mockingbird you can just write it down here if i want to keywords i can write like something that i need to remind myself that's easy and quick at a glance but what also you can do is drag and drop things here so if we want to move this done column over here we can and so it'll just you know show up like this and it's just easier to go down the list and see exactly what i need to get done okay now i wanted to show you my archive because i did talk about that before um it's currently hidden right now but we can change the layout we can choose finished here which is acts as my archive as well but right here as you can see these are all my finished assignments once i click that done button it goes to right here here's just everything you know all the assignments all the way dating back to the beginning of the school year okay and then next up here on the sidebar is create and that is where i create all of my content you know where I have my YouTube stuff, my podcasting, and my newsletter as well. Here we go. The biggest thing here is YouTube, of course, and here's all my video ideas. I'm not going to be showing you it right now, but this is the video I'm currently working on, how I use Notion as a student. I can see all the properties here. Just I made a template as well. I'll be showing you that in a minute of exactly all the things I need to get done. I didn't quite get to film this on the second. I was planning on doing that, but I'm going to now switch that. So I'm currently filming this on the 5th of December and I want to publish it on the 6th of December. So that's what my goal is there. Right now editing, I finished this one. So the ultimate dual screen productivity hack. So we're gonna be putting that in the published category here. We did hide that column. For example, um, I finished planning this one, how I use Notion as a student. We're gonna move it to the plan column, then filmed editing, you know, go down the line. It's the same principle here with my um, podcast and the newsletter. These don't get used as frequently because I don't do them as much. I don't invest as much time, but we can just move the properties as we please. And then next up here is YouTube analytics as you can see at the top of this and where I like to track exactly how my channel is doing so I can um, track like the subscriber count watch time and views at the beginning of each month. So for example, I can see here like April 21st 2020 I was at 31 subscribers now December 1st 3361 pretty good keeping up the growth there really like it and then I just remind myself here um, 8 p.m. January 1st 2021 that's when I need, that's when I need to fill in YouTube analytics again next up on the sidebar is journal and that is where I just you know um, write down some things that I'm feeling I don't just on some random days maybe I need to brain dump just pour out my thoughts whatever I want researching some things links bookmarks that I think would be helpful for me later this is a table by the way so you can do slash table and you can easily create a table just like that next up here is finances exactly where I just keep track of the cash that I currently have um, Amazon gift cards and just allowance that I currently have but I have I'm still a minor right now obviously and I'm not making that much income right now so next up is gains and that is where I create all of my workout stuff I don't track my workouts in here I track it on Google spreadsheets and that I'll leave a link in the description down below also for where you can find my workout um, routine video that I exactly go over my process about that here's another thing past workout trackers where I my um, past spreadsheets about my workout trackers like I made a PDF about it and then my 25 mile week running schedule I try to stick to this as much as I can but you know it's getting colder so I'm not gonna be able to do it as much running PRs some of these aren't updated right here like my 5k PR just ran the new one 1929 and then just some other random things here just maybe like a workout that I did and then some jump exercises that I want to do in the future and the next up is memories where I like to just store some photos you know it's I know you can store it on Instagram as well but more personal things maybe maybe some memories I mean most of these have made it on Instagram anyway just some things I'm trying to do this more often I recently started this it's in a gallery view here I can see at a glance like exactly what happened that day like what date it was so for example let's go back here 8 26 20 that's just some you know photos that I took um, of like a night sky that I thought looked pretty nice um, just something that I like to look back on maybe every single day you know I'm trying to take a picture of something that was memorable in that day and put it on here next up here is cubing 
and you know I don't really come to this as much I'm trying to work on this but just some algorithms that I'm trying to learn some resources personal bests I haven't got quite gotten to this yet and lastly up here is a wish list of just some things that I want you know just some things that I'm not hoping to get like right right now and like I said before you can just open each of these as a page and then put what you want like the specifications the cost the link to it the category want scale if I bought it or not and once again I did sort it by cost and then I also did create over here um, rank of want so I can see oh wh how badly do I want this a one two or three all right so that you know wraps it up that's that's everything uh, this is my whole entire notion setup obviously mine is going to be very different from yours everybody's different you know I'm trying to um, use notion as something that is going to help me increase my productivity have just one system for everything instead of like being all jumbled and going to different things yeah this is something that I recently picked up on maybe like six months ago and it has been absolute game changer for me if you'd like me to make specific videos about notion in the future then please let me know in the comments down below be sure to try out notion give it a shot it's something that really will um, help you out just um, customize it to your liking they have a ton of templates here as well that is my notion setup 17 minutes on my camera already thank you so much for watching guys hope you did enjoy this video if you did be sure to drop a like on this video be sure to subscribe to the channel down below be sure to comment on this video most creative comment will get a shout out on this video Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Peace.